here it is flames of war to brook complete world war ii starter set one of the two new mid-war starter sets for north africa the current release for flames of war in this set you get british versus italian has 22 tanks and two guns i'm going to go ahead and turn this around carefully so in this kit you're going to get a british force and italian force in the british force you're going to have a headquarters unit of three crusader tanks you'll have a tank platoon of three crusader tanks a tank platoon of three grant tanks and then a tank platoon of three m4 sherman tanks on the italian side you're going to get one headquarters unit of an m1441 followed by a tank platoon of four m1441s as well as an assault gun battery of five sevamentes and then rounding off the italian force you get two anti-tank gun batteries that's two 88 millimeter guns so without further ado let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside so first off these two player starters from battlefront miniatures never disappoint as you can see this is this is a very deep box of plastic and we're going to go ahead and take a look at each one of these as well as all the other accessories and other items that come in here but i just wanted to show off how much plastic you get in this 54 dollar retail box it's a lot and uh that's why i love these battlefront miniature uh two player starters the previous one that we unboxed hit the beach was a fantastic value this is following in that vein okay i want to start off with the italian side you're going to get 10 tank sprues so uh these are all I believe identical. The only thing is that you would be using this particular sprue to either build the M1441 or the Sevo Mente uh, assault gun. So uh, we'll take a closer look at that in a little bit. Next up, you get two sprues of the 88 and uh, associated resin gun crew. And we'll go ahead and take a closer look at that. But that is the totality of the Italian forces. Now let's take a closer look. All right, so here is the one of 10 sprues of the M1441 slash Sevamente uh, Italian uh, vehicles. As you can see, you get your wonderful tracks here that are always highly detailed. You have the bottom hull, part of the top hull here, as well as the turret for the Sevamente and for the M1441. I'm gonna bring this up just a little bit closer. A number of uh, other items that you could put on the tank. And I'll turn this on the other side. Here's part of the hull for both vehicles. So again, sprue layout is nice and simple. And because it is a Battlefront miniature, it's going to be very easy to assemble. You get 10 of these vehicles in the two-player starter. Five of them are going to be your Sevamente assault gun. Four of them will be your M1441, and then you'll have one left over for your M1441 HQ unit. All right, next up is your 88. So the main barrel of the cannon and the how you mount it, as well as some of the other components, including the gun shield here. Not much to say. Um, again, you get two of these as well as the associated gun crew and we'll take a closer look at that. So you do get a baggie of resin crew for your 88. 88s. So I'm going to go ahead and bag these and we'll take a closer look at them. I do believe that one piece has come off. Yep, it certainly has. So we have a couple uh, crew members that have come off. Let's see. So there's a guy with a shell. Uh, I believe this is an Italian tank commander. So. Um, so this kit actually has the crew for the 88 and as well as the Italian tank crew all in resin. We'll take a look closer look at the 88 crew sprue that has everybody on there. Very well detailed. All right, and now the tank crew, tank commander sprue for the Italians. Getting very well detailed. So again, you get two of these tank commander sprues for your Italians, and then you get two of your 88 crew sprues. And last but not least for the Italian side, you get your bases for your 88s and then associated plugs for the holes that you will not be using. And again, you get two of these as well as four plugs. So. All right, for your British side, you're gonna get six Crusader sprues, three Grant sprues, and three Sherman sprues, and they're all identical. We're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at each of them. And here's your Crusader sprue. So uh, tracks, hull, bottom of the hull, you get two versions of the turret, 
as well as the side components for the Crusader. Uh, here is your uh, barrels and your turret plug for the bottom part of the turret there. And we'll take a closer look at each component of the screw. Again, the tracks are a wonder. They're very detailed. Flip this around. And again, great sprue layout. Very easy to put together. All right, All right. next up is the Grant sprue. So as you can see, there's the main hull, bottom hull, tracks, turrets, and all the other uh, components. Again, very well detailed for the scale. There's your barrel for the main cannon. And that is your Grant Sprue. And lastly, here is your Sherman Sprue. You've seen the Shermans before, if you have any number of them from any other set. Uh, what's interesting to note is the yellow uh, plastic this time around. Main hull, tracks, turret, bottom hull, other components. We'll bring it up here. Your 50 cals, barrel of your 75 millimeter. Nice detail again. Tracks are beautiful as always. And again, a wonderfully easy and simple sprue layout. Should be very easy to put together. All right, next up is your build guide. Um, this site has the M1441 assembly guide. You do have a couple different options here. Uh, this is a very small tank, so when you assemble these, don't be surprised at how tiny they are compared to the British tanks. Uh, next up is the Sevamente 75 millimeter assault gun. Again, uh, same chassis as the M1441. Uh, this is even easier to put together than this, as you can see. And then there's your 88 millimeter, as well as a little bit of fluff, the 8 million bayonets. Uh, this gives you information on the Italians. So on the other side, you're gonna have your British assembly guide. This is for the British Crusader, Crusader Armored Squadron. Here's your Grant assembly guide right here your Sherman assembly guide. If you have any number of these, you should already know how to assemble these. Um, these were ubiquitous during the war. And then finally, your Crusader assembly guide. Back again to the Italian tank company. Next up is the Flames of War A5 digest sized rule book for version four of the game. I don't know if this is any different than what we've had before. There might be some different artwork and all that in there compared to the previous versions. Uh, Although I wouldn't consider them previous versions. They're the same version of the rulebook, but just with different releases. This may be different, I'm not sure. Again, the rules have not changed, um, so this will just be your standard A5 sized rulebook. Moving on to the cards, here is the British Armored Fist. These are the formations that you can form out of your British forces. You're not going to have all this stuff, but this gives you an idea of how to expand your British force for the mid war North Africa campaign. I'm going to turn this around. Here are your support units available to your force and uh, the model or the part numbers for the kits, how many that you need, um, and then some information here. Also, the standard movement orders, blitz move, shoot and scoot, dig in, follow me, and cross here. Um, if you've had any previous experience with Flames of War, these should be very familiar for you in terms of the nation that you've chosen to play. This is just the British one. Next up is your Crusader Armored Squadron HQ. This gives you all the information for that particular unit. Uh, you have uh, weapons here, all your skills, your armor there. On the other side, what you need to form this squadron HQ and their point totals. Also special rules, as well as the Crusader Armored Squadron Cruiser Tank Formation. And it tells you the breakdown on what you will need to field this formation. Next up is the Crusader II Armored Troop Unit. Um, similar layout as the Crusader Armored Squadron HQ. A uh, few less options, but as you can see, all the associated information with this particular unit. Again, on the other side, how many you need to form this unit, as well as the special rules. Next up is the Crusader II and III Armored Troop. Again, uh, all the information that you need, including armor and other skills, 
Um, this is very similar to the previous cards, just in the layout, but obviously this is for Crusader 2 and 3 Armored Troop. And then on the other side, how many uh, units you can field and what point totals, and then the special rules. Next up is the Grant Armor Troop. Again, similar layout. You have your weapons, your movement, your motivation, skills, and all that fun stuff, and armor. And then on the other side, how many points it takes to create a unit or troop, as well as its special rules. Rounding out the British is the Sherman Armored Troop. Similar. Uh, layout again, the weapons, movement, all that fun stuff. And then on the other side, your point totals and how many you need to form the unit, as well as special rules. Alright, for the Italians, unlike the British, this is not a bifold of the uh, rules and um, formations for the Italian force. It is two different cards this time around. We'll take a closer look at the first one here. This is just the standard movement orders on this card. And then some wonderful artwork of an M1441. The formation card, this is what you need to form a, an Avanti Force formation. Get your tank company, heavy tank company, Basalieri rifle, Basalieri weapons company, and parachutist company. And then obviously on the other side are the mo model kit numbers, as well as some information uh, that would be pertinent to building a formation for the Italians. All right, next up is the M1441 Tank Company HQ. Again, similar to the British cars and layout, there is a different uh, column here that I'm not quite sure what it stands for, but obviously once we learn how to play with the Italians, we'll know that further. If you have your weapons, your movement, armor, and all that fun stuff. And then on the other side, what you need to build the Tank Company HQ, as well as special rules and then the formation. Next up is your M1441 tank platoon. Again, very similar to the company HQ, in layout at least. And then on the other side, the cost for your platoon as well as the unit, the amount of tanks you can take in the platoon. And then special rules. Next up is the Sevamente, the assault gun. Here are your weapons, movement, your armor and skill. And then on the other side, the costs as well as special rules. And then rounding out the entire set is the 88 anti-tank battery, the Italian version. Weapon, movement, all that fun stuff. This also has a save of four. And then on the other side, how much a unit will cost you as well as special rules. What is a Flames of War starter without the core rules and quick start guide? This is just an easy way to get into the game, gives you the most basic rules and sequence of play and all that fun stuff. You've seen this before in any other starter that was released by Battlefield. Finally, one of my favorite parts to any two player starter are the wonderful colored dice. We'll go ahead and take a closer look at these. All right, here are your D6 die. You have a number of the sand colored with black pip and then the yellow with the red pip. I'm not sure which one is for which faction, but obviously having colored dye are awesome to get, especially when you have a two-player starter that has two different forces. And then finally, you have this one green dye, which I believe is for the Italians, but we've seen this on the Italian cards, uh, this symbol, so specifically for the Italians. And there it is, Flames of War to Brook, two-player starter for mid-war British versus Italians. This is one of two new two-player starters released for the North Africa campaign. They'll give you some juice to your mid-war British and Italians. This is a great set. My thoughts on this, the two-player sets are never a bad purchase for you, especially if you're just starting in uh, Flames of War. If you're looking to reinforce your force, you get so much value packed into this box that uh, I would consider this a twofer, and a twofer in uh, Wargaming Noob parlance is buying two or more of these. Uh, this definitely pads out your Italian and British forces, or if you're just starting out, it's a great way to, to get into these two nations, as well as era of World War II Wargaming. So yeah, that's it. 
If you like this video, go ahead and click like. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, I appreciate it. If you would, click the bell notification icon to get notified of all new unboxings coming out of the channel, and then click the link in the description below to join our Discord server. That is the best way I can personally interact with you and chit chat you about Flames of War and any other game that we cover on the channel. That's it. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more unboxing videos from Wargaming Noob Historical.